What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob. At the time of this video, I'm currently on a brief hiatus break on my channel after my 31 Days of Christmas series, but I wanted to share my thoughts real quick on the Disney Plus show Hawkeye, which just recently wrapped up in the last week. Now, I've been keeping up on the MCU for quite a while. I watched all the MCU content in 2021, the Disney Plus shows, the movies, and they've all been very enjoyable to some degree. Hawkeye being the last Disney Plus series in 2021, starring Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye and introducing Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. This was a pretty enjoyable series, I must say. It does continue on Clint Barton's journey after Avengers Endgame. He's struggling with grief and a little bit of PTSD after what happened in Avengers Endgame, especially with Natasha, Black Widow, and he's struggling to overcome that and fight some of his past demons, like his time in the Ronin vigilante suit during the Avengers Endgame story. And so he's dealing with that while also trying to take care of his family. This is set during Christmas time. Very well timed that they put Hawkeye during the Christmas season while it was currently Christmas going on in 2021. I thought that was a brilliant addition. And now we're also introduced to Kate Bishop, who is also a skilled archer, much like Hawkeye, who was a big fan of Hawkeye ever since she was a kid. And she ends up being part of the adventure as well because she gets tangled up in different aspects of the criminal underworld. Uh, there's this tracksuit mafia that is after her after Kate Bishop witnesses some things that she probably shouldn't have seen, but she saw them anyway. And so she ends up in the hands of Clint Barton, and the two end up teaming up together to take down a criminal empire. And that's the best way to describe the show without diving, diving too deep into spoilers. I'll do an in-depth spoiler video on Hawkeye eventually on my Superhero Saturday series down the line, along with all the other Disney Plus shows and recent Marvel movies whenever I get to them on the channel. All I'll say here, this is definitely one of the lighter fairs of content in the MCU this year. There's seeds of dark moments in there, like Clint Barton reflecting upon his past, uh, setting up new characters like Maya, who also goes by Echo, and how she ends up tying in with Hawkeye as a character. And also, this series also brings back Florence Pugh as Yelena, Natasha's sister from Black Widow, that movie, and seeing where she was during the Avengers Infinity War timeline and how that connects with the Hawkeye series. Um, this is mostly a lighter fare. There's definitely a lot of quips and jokes in the series. The banter between Hawkeye and Kate Bishop is fantastic. The chemistry those two actors have were excellent, and I enjoyed seeing that dynamic on screen, Hawkeye being the older mentor, Kate Bishop being the younger character who still has a lot to learn, and they, they learn a lot from each other, both characters throughout the series, and both grow as a result of it. Uh, I would say, out of all the characters in Hawkeye, Kate Bishop was easily my favorite. Now, I guess you can say she kind of stole the show from Hawkeye in this movie, because it's technically his show, but... This does feel like a Kate Bishop origin story because we see how you know she was actually across the street from when Hawkeye did some of his flips and kicks in the Battle of New York in the first Avengers movie, and she was a key witness to that battle firsthand, and her life was saved due to Clint Barton's heroics, which was why she's a big fan of Hawkeye as a character. And seeing her love and obsession with Hawkeye and using that to grow herself and skills is a really neat little thing to see. I really enjoyed Haley Steinfeld's personality unfold as Kate Bishop. I think she's just a very likable character. She definitely had the best laughs throughout the whole movie, the jokes that she provides during some of the more outrageous moments in the show. I just fell in love with this character so easily. A lot of it had to do with Haley Steinfeld's performance. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I 
kind of had a crush on her while watching the show. She's a year younger than me, so that's not truly creepy. But I enjoyed Haley Steinfeld in this series, and I can't wait to see more Kate Bishop in the future. I think Florence Pugh and the scene she was in had some great moments as well, especially when she's interacting with Haley Steinfeld. They need to do a team-up movie or something in the future because that would be great. Speaking of action, uh, this series has, has quite a bit of action in there. Uh, the stakes aren't as high compared to other MCU stuff. Uh, this is more of a personal story with Hawkeye and then adding Kate Bishop into the mix. And the action definitely doesn't have the high stakes and world-ending stakes that like the Avengers movies had and stuff like that. But I did enjoy seeing the underground street-level action in this series. There was definitely a lot of cool sequences. There's this chase sequence in Episode 3, especially, that had a lot of energy to it where they were playing around and making fun of Hawkeye having trick arrows. I thought that sequence was insanely fun. The finale had a great little action scene which embraced the ridiculousness of the trick arrows even more, which I highly enjoyed. But there's still some raw, gritty action in there as well at times, especially dealing with Hawkeye, the fact that he's still trying to move on from the Ronin character, but there's a character named Maya who is struggling to overcome that as well because of the stuff Ronin did during the dark days of his past. And so there's a definitely interesting dynamic in there as well. Now I will say my big problem with Hawkeye series is I feel like they set up too many characters in this series that it was hard juggling all these characters in the series. Yes, you got Hawkeye. Yes, you got Kate Bishop. They set up Yelena in this series, and I enjoyed seeing that and where that paid off. Uh, the Maya, I think, started out really interesting. Like, I loved her backstory, and I'm excited to see the Echo series, don't get me wrong, and learning more about her character, her family history. She has a interesting little uncle in this series. I'm not going to dive too deep into that just yet, because that's a pretty big spoiler. But... I feel like Maya got less and less interesting as the character went along, and by the end of it, like whenever like some serious stuff happened related to her character and what she was feeling, I just didn't really feel it because there were just too much character stuff they had to do in this series, and it just felt like obligatory expository setup for her own show. I'm sure I'll like the character more when we get to the Echo series on Disney+, and I'm excited to see where that goes, but... As for as of now, Maya's just okay to me. There's also these characters called the LARPers, live action role players, who end up that's kind of like a running gag subplot in the series. And it was amusing the first time, but the more those characters showed up as the series went on, I'm like, okay, this is getting old and annoying fast. I can live without these characters. Not the worst characters in the MCU, but they do kind of take away from the whole, I guess, groundedness of the story. Even though there are some ridiculous aspects in the series, that is a lot of fun. I do like the lighter flair that Hawkeye does have, don't get me wrong. But uh, those additional characters didn't really do it for me. The second episode was definitely my least favorite. Because we spent a good 20 minutes of the episode dealing with Hawkeye pretending to be in part of this LARP group just so he can get his suit back. And I'm like, really? They're stretching this out a bit too thin, I must say. Overall, Hawkeye is a really entertaining show. It's not my favorite of the Disney Plus shows. I think, personally, I prefer Loki, What If, and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier over Hawkeye. But I did like it a little better than WandaVision. WandaVision is a show where I really dug it when it came out, but the more I thought about it, there's been some underwhelming aspects about the show that kind of dipped in quality a bit for me. But I think Hawkeye is better than WandaVision, personally. I especially love the show, especially for the character dynamics between Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. That aspect alone makes the show worth watching. It does have some cool action in there. Uh, it, does, it did have a cool villain at the end. Again, I can't dive too deep into that, and I enjoyed seeing that character on screen. Uh, there's definitely some extended series on another streaming service that Marvel was involved in I'll have to check out. I guess that's the best way to say without the spoilers. 
And overall, I thought this was a really good show. I think they did add a few too many additional characters in this series, which got a little annoying at times, but... Overall, I had a blast watching Hawkeye. It's a series I'll definitely re-watch time and time again, especially the Hawkeye, Kate Bishop stuff. I definitely want to see more Kate Bishop and more MCU projects. Haley Steinfeld, I've been a fan of her as an actress since True Grit back in 2010. She was fantastic in that movie when she was just a kid. And to see her grow and become an awesome character in the MCU is awesome. And I can't wait to see more of that in the MCU. I can't wait to see more Kate Bishop and Yelena and that twist Easter egg villain character in the final episode, which I don't want to get into that just yet because that was pretty awesome. Hawkeye was a fun series all around and I'll be giving Hawkeye as a whole a four and a half out of five stars and on the 100 point scale it's getting an 86 out of 100. So I hope you enjoyed my brief thoughts on Hawkeye. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the series. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. Hope y'all have, wait a minute, I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope y'all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!